Your greatest achievement so far is like mastering being a familiar. Like, I've always admired everything that you do, but I feel like now you're at a place where like, you understand the complexity of stuff and like utilize and exercise every part of yourself. And I feel like that's your, that's your biggest accomplishment instead of like it being one specific thing that you do and then like. Encompassing all parts of you. I like that. Yeah, so I think that's me too. I've been coming more confident in that and knowing that I don't have to subscribe to one part of myself, too, that I can embrace each of those parts and that can be a good thing. It doesn't have to be a bad thing. It has many parts of myself. Mm -hmm. What's the hardest thing for you about our relationship? Mm. I think. The hardest thing for me is like sometimes my intentions may not match up with my actions and it's difficult to like, I don't want to say comprehend, but more like helping you understand that it's like not that I don't love you or care about you or like care about your feelings or whatever. Like it's things within me that I need to fix and I might not always see them right away. Mm. Um, so I think that learning that I need to make room for your emotions, even when I know what my intentions were and they, you know, it didn't come through that way, right? Like just leaving room for your emotions, learning how to navigate when my intentions don't match up with my actions and like doing something about that. For me, I think it's being able to navigate, because um, you know, I'm just moving to the kingdom and differentiate with putting myself first and putting someone else before me. Mm -hmm. And knowing that like, there's nothing wrong with putting myself first and there's also nothing wrong with caring for someone else. I have to be able to, um, find that comfortable balance. Mm -hmm. Being able to do that and find uh, the balance in being vulnerable after uh, pain mm -hmm. or after hurt. Because I go into a protective mode and survival mode after being hurt. I can see that. I never heard you put in the words that way. But like, I can recognize that. Yeah. How would you title this chapter of our lives? I would title this chapter, um, I think I want to say like transition. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. That's so weird. Yeah, because that that's transition. exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> exactly. That's so weird. Transition. Because it isn't, um, there isn't a, a a definition of it yet because mm -hmm. we're both in a very um navigating part of our lives mm -hmm. and this is a very important chapter like you know we just moved to LA and that was huge coming from Jersey mm -hmm. and you know the things that we both want to do in our lives and the things that we both um want for ourselves individually and then for the things that we want for our relationship it's all very transitional because we have to learn how to navigate this new way that we're doing it like how are we going to and it's complicated <laughs> yeah um definitely change so i guess you answered that's your answer yeah well i was yeah i was literally like it was on the tip of my tongue i'm working on not being impulsive and speaking while you're speaking and so i'm like oh my god like, 
me. But um, yeah, I would call it transition because we're in a place of figuring everything out. Like everything, yeah. Like every single thing, you know. Um, how we go about our day, what do we do in the morning? Like, you know, like where do we hang out? Like, even when it comes to friendship. Yeah, I mean, all of that, and I, you know, as we both know, like relationships aren't end all be all. So there's other things outside of our relationship that are in transition as well. Like you said, what do you need to hear from me? Um, I guess more on a general, like because you know we had that long conversation last night. Mm -hmm. um, more like validation. So not 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 something. Specific per se, yeah. but um, that act that's it ties into my love language is more validation, um, and that and it doesn't mean like hey, today is real good, good thing. No, but I know. you expressing this on your mind, on your heart, and by you expressing this on your mind, your heart is the healthy validation of what's going on and maybe what I'm thinking on the mm -hmm. And of course, I know that I could participate more, ask more, um, but I would like that. You know, I, know. I can do that. I think, but I need to hear more of your vulnerability. Like I, I can't remember exactly the phrasing that you had in the in maybe two questions ago. Um, like vulnerability as the pain, or just like in, in general, like um, I guess the same feel about me in a way. But um, so sometimes I feel like. Like when I when I don't know, I'm like navigating through like big things that it could be, and then like I get caught up in that person like actually you knowing what's going on. So I can see how we both play a part in that. So me expressing that more, and then you being willing to have that interest more to ask mm -hmm. or express yourself as well, and that can help each other. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you want to do one more? Uh, Are you done? Yeah. These mosquitoes bite me like I'm digging on my neck. Oh, nice. Okay, let's go. Give me a crystal. Let it.